Hello and welcome. In our last video, we looked into more configurations for your loan products. We touched on the loan offer letter feature, loan application charge, as well as the document section of a loan product configuration. In this video, we're going to learn more about other configurations such as multi-tenor, disbursement rules, repayment details, and some of the additional details that we have available to us. For the multi-tenor section, this is where you get to specify if you would like your loan to be paid off in multiple trenches as opposed to a one-off payment. Here you can toggle on or off the option and also specify this frequency. As a best practice, we say for monthly no loans, that is loans that would be um, with a due date of maybe three to six months, your frequency would be monthly, meaning that users would be required to make monthly payments until the final due date of either three to six months, depending on what your product configuration is. The next section is disbursement rules. What this configuration allows you to do is specify the disbursement type, which could either be manual or automatic. Manual disbursement type is usually the default, and this is where loans would have to be pre-assessed by you before they can be disbursed to the user. We advise that for starting out, you would actually opt in for the manual disbursement type as opposed to automatic. The automatic means that loans would be automatically disbursed to users once the system, based on your decision model configuration, has determined that this user is eligible for a loan. At that point, the loan would be automatically disbursed to the user. We also have the disbursement rights tab, which is where you can specify who or your admin or team members that would have the right and permissions to approve and assess a loan. So for example, you can create a loan product and specify that only super admins can approve this loan, which means that every other admin type would not be able to approve or this type of loan. The next section we have is the repayment details section. Here is where you just get to specify your repayment model. Is it straight line or reducing balance method? Whichever case you pick, the calculation would apply accordingly. In our next video, we're going to learn more about the additional details available to us. That is things like payment application sequence, collection method, and more. Thank you.